Welcome everyone to an Allocate Spaces Intermediate uh, Soldering Events hosted by Jose Digirant. We are a 5013C nonprofit located in Severn, Maryland. Everything you would see if we were in our shop is donated by our community. That includes things like little tools like soldering irons, electronics, lock picks, wood shop tools, chairs, tables, everything. We are always looking for more volunteers. If uh, you want to do something, give back to the space, you like something that we've done uh, from you know YouTube in person, or you just like learned a thing. There are many ways to contribute and help out and just give back to the community. Uh, you can give time, knowledge through mentorship or teaching classes, donating equipment supplies, again, we're 501c3 nonprofit, or money. Money is always a, a good option. All our events are always free and open to the public because of your support. And that's about all I have. Last thing is just that we're online. All of our events are on Meetup. You can connect with us on Twitter, Slack, Google Groups, Discord, Facebook, so many different ways. So feel free to participate. And if you go to unallocatedspace.org, our website, you can see all that information and more. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing and focus on you. It's all yours. Hello, I am Jose Smith. I go by DigiRain on the Slack channel. On the bottom here, this is my company card. I am a systems engineer with Sanayu. We are SMEs on demand. So let's start this off with the, these are the probably the instructions you got, which are really, really bad. So what I did was I went through this lab and came up with a component list. Um, this should have the January meetup. I'll make sure that a component list and the steps are all done ahead of time. So that way you have the opportunity to get them. Uh, you, this suggests a 15, watt, uh, 15 volt, two amp power supply, but then the specs actually call for 15 watts minimum. So I was able to find my little iHome. I took this off of a TiVo so I could do this. And this gets me my 15 uh, watts. Oh, shoot, I need to go grab some crazy glue. When we get to that point, we'll take a small break, and then I'll go grab my crazy glue. Um, it recommends a fluorescent bulb, or your kit probably came with this, which will also work for that. Soldering iron, solder, wire strippers, and, or, and then also snips. Uh, I, I would highly recommend some... Oh, shoot. Eh, I don't need any uh, wire strippers. I've got a knife here. Uh, there's about 16 steps here. Extremely important because we are going to be working with a Tesla coil. One, handle this extremely delicately. Look and see if there's any scratches on it. Because this is your coiled copper for your primary core. This is going to need to be finely spooled and have no breaks. Plus you don't want the, there's gonna be a little bit of uh, resin that has actually been put on this to keep it so that it doesn't um, arc on itself. So hopefully yours is undamaged. So we're gonna go through all the rest of the components. So you have your metal fin resistors, you have, these will go into, these two components will also go into the resistors and those will sit here. That is your 80 NF70 and your BD243C. You will have your tip 41 and which is this guy right here. Your LEDs, both red and clear. The Longer leg will be your positive, your audio socket, which is the nice fat one, your capacitor. Oh, this. Then you have the power socket, the primary coil, which we've said. Now my secondary coil came with a wire. This will be fun because you just lightly will, you'll solder one end in and then lightly coil it around your primary coil and then set it and then solder it in again. These four copper pillars, four screws to go with it, two screws to go with the heat sink. Oh, wait. So, yeah, these are the 
metal film resistors, the R1, R4, and the R3, R5. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that, no, these are your resistors. Sorry, these are your resistors. There's the heat sinks, and then you have your PCB. So now that we have the components, oh, and this is going to be part of the end. So this, uh, this I'm going to set aside, making sure not to put it into any of my containers that have a, I have a magnet one over here, so I'll make sure that doesn't get magnetized. This doesn't get magnetized as well. Let's clean up my workstation. Let's move these pieces over. These, this will be doing right in the beginning. This is your 10K, the 2K, the board will stay in the center. Let's move these up here, up here, up here. Now, since this is a one that we're gonna be doing a lot of work on a board, I get to break out this piece. So let's open my arm up to there. Let's move this over and there. A little further. Good. So let's take this, feed this through the end. We're starting with step one. We're gonna screw in all the posts. Me, I'm just gonna put my, my finger there and then just give them a quick finger tight for now and I'll come back because I have my screwdrivers right here, right off camera. There we go. This is also a good opportunity for us to remind you, this is going to be a Tesla coil at the end. It's gonna put off a lot of electromagnetism. So you're going to want to keep all sensitive electronics away from it. So hopefully having this uh, this cord ends up being far enough away to not really hurt a sensitive electronic. There we go. And let's tighten. Just barely tight. We don't want to snap the board. We just want to tight enough to so it doesn't uh, come loose. There we go. Now, oop, let's move this a little more. That has some tension, so I can bring it to about there. Tighten that. Excellent. Now for me, I'm going to have to, when I get to some of these other spots, uh, let's move this up a little let's get into actually let's move the components down make it easier for you all there we go Oh, wonderful. Oop. So we have completed step one, installed the screws. Now we're going to install the 10K resistors. So for this, I am going to now turn on my soldering iron. While the soldering iron comes up to temperature, this is a reminder. Once you plug it in, never touch a soldering iron's tip. You should have your soldering iron, your solder, your wicking cable, and you should have a wet sponge. I have a dumb question. Yes. Which one is the 10K versus 2K again? There should be only one of them says, one of them, at least my kit came with it where it said 2K on it. Oh, there is a scribble on it, but it's okay. That, that might be 2K. Thank you. <laughs> now, what we can do is I can pull out my nifty chart. Yes, I love this kit. This is the Novus Level 1 from Micro Center. And it has a whole bunch of little things that you could possibly use. And if we are looking for bands, what we're trying to do is get the one that starts with red. And then we're going black, black. Yep. 
because so if you look at the very small it's hard to notice on one side it goes red black black yep and then the multiplier so that one's red that gives you your two this one has brown as its first one then black black to give you your um or so it's brown then red yeah basically just look for the one that's red on first that would give you your two and my son has come up to temperature that's nice and clean okay so we're looking for the 10k so it's the ones that are not red um, that's yep so we're looking for the two 10k positions which are this one right here so i'm gonna give a light bend on each side pull this in and that sits in kind of loose how's the, the lighting on the board do i need to bring the lights in it is well lit and this goes here it's well lit but it's a little fuzzy yeah that's just gonna be how the camera is uh this i need to get a better camera but at least we, you can see where it needs the things need to go the this turns i'm going to hold the components in place to pull the legs apart pull the legs apart there and it's kind of funny you can actually see the little squiggle for resistor on this side let's get some solder oh there we go so you have this solder, which is the 6040 rosin core standard solder. But then I like using this, which is another 6040, but it gives you this nice pen so that you can hold your excess. And you want to get the wire hot. There. I got a nice little dimple right there. That one's not as clean, but it's good. Let me adjust my fan because uh, I moved things around. There we go. So you might start hearing the fan now. It's a bit closer. Nope, it sounds good. There. Are you putting the solder between the the iron and the board, or are you putting the board the iron between the solder and the board? I'm putting the solder on the wire and then i'm moving the solder down into the hole okay because that way it gives you your best chance for the solder to to actually melt down and flow into the component hole because what we want to do is when we flip back over ah when we flip back over, you should see solder pool right on this side. And I can see solder, 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 solder. So that shows me that uh, those are fully completed. So then I can take off the excess. That's the downside of the, the die and the um, weevil is that they were so small that I couldn't do this okay so those are now completed let's look for the two k's so now time to do the two k's two k will go two k will go here so this one's going to be fun because i that means i'm going to have to take it off this and the other two k is right here right in the center of the board next to bet right between the two 10 k's bend 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 
bend the legs away on this side. And then this, I'm going to have to pull this off. Bend and bend. Actually, if I do, if I hold the board. Like that. There we Wouldn't go. You just place the board on the uh, table and not use that clamp. Well, no, I like using because normally I'll use these right so that i can so i'm not holding the board and the solder and the iron right but if you put the board on the on the table just flat on the table and uh i mean that one that would hold the resistor in place as as you're doing it this isn't something i would i wouldn't imagine this is something you actually need to hold in place oh i just uh might as well use the tools i have okay come on there we go. I don't have anything that cool. There we go. Oh yeah, this also came with a glue stick. Uh, that's why I said you probably want to go get some uh, crazy glue. There we go. Okay. So now we are doing the capacitor. This also has a long leg and a short leg. Look for the plus sign on your silk screen, which should be on. Uh, mine is on what I consider the top. This one you want to have a little bit more care with. They're not as as resilient as the uh, resistors, but you should still be fine. Come on. As you can see, I pulled the solder away from the hole. Okay, let's see if that, before I put my soldering iron away, let's see if it actually soldered all the way through. Yep, okay, I can see solder on this side. That one was ugly. And let's take the, where's the old man glass? Oh well, looks like I left it back there when I was searching for power supplies. So next is the red LED and then the white LED. These also are directional. LED one is your red LED. Long leg on the positive. Uh, 
and the white LED. Daughter. Come on. should be good. Let's see what they look like on the other side. Yep, solid connections. Oh, and as that one went flying, everyone should be wearing safety goggles. But I really harped that home on the previous videos. There. Okay. Now the 105. Now mine has this as just two holes. There are some of these kits that I saw where you might have multiple holes. You'll have to trace on the back side to see what hole goes into the circuit and what one is off on its, see, then one traces, you're, you're going one, going to one side to this hole here. And then the other side is coming to this pin out here. So that's what you're looking for is between the, the you're trying to get it between the two points or the two coils. This one also is a tender component, so please be careful. So right there, get the solder next to the board. That did not. That is still not. That side's good. This side is not. How's the solder? Did the solder come all the way through? There. There, that's, that should work.
Nope. After I clipped this piece, this does not pull itself in. There we go. Now it secured itself. I was able. To, I was using my thumb to wiggle it on the other side to see when it finally caught. Okay. I'm going to hold here for a moment. Um, so, Ben, how, how are you doing? I'm right here with you. So, on my, on my screen, I have my, um, on my camera, I have uh, my board. I think I'm one step ahead of you. I heard audio, so I went, oh, no, got to rush to get the audio port in. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to hold here for one moment to go grab the crazy glue. Okay, I'm going to grab some glue as well. Okay. I have the crazy glue. So, audio socket. So, dumb question. Is this the glue they gave us? Is it the kind of glue that you put in the hot glue gun? Yep. Okay. I was embarrassed so, to ask, but I have a hot glue gun. So here <laughs> is five. It looks like the amount of glue that you pull out of the hot glue gun because there's not enough left to push it through. Right? I actually grabbed an... This is dumb. Well, while the gun was off, I grabbed an Allen key and just shoved it in there all the way. I'm going to uh, stick a pencil in there as my uh, tension tool. Not, not proud of that. Whatever works. I have sticks of glue somewhere. I just don't know where they are. So, for this, what I'm going for, what I'm going to do is get this one pin done first. The one that's closest up here, because there's five pins that we're doing. That's going to want to pull itself off. Oh. Let's move this off. Nope, that's too far up. That's not going to want to hold. Oh, that'll work. Okay. So this will hold. we have it in this orientation. Now will at least get us this first pin. So once we got the first pin in, yep, that first pin is now solid. <sighs> Oh, this is going to be fun because these are so close together. Not proud of this. Whew. And those are not touching. Excellent. Wonderful. Not so good on that one. Actually, I can clean this one up now, now that it's not holding everything in place. There, that one's cleaned up. There. 
that actually wasn't that bad. The first one, yeah, is actually quite nice. Second one's okay. This last one, we'll just need a little snip. This first one, we'll need a slight snip. Do we need to snip the uh, the tips off the audio connector? Oh, no, no. I had a whole bunch of extra, extra solder. Gotcha. So I was just, I was snipping off a, a rough edge. Gotcha. And uh, now the power. This also do this this way, holding the solder this way. That's holding that in place. I need to go see what this is. We'll be right back. And Socks, how far are you along in the soldering project? <laughs> uh, my, I, I'm proud. Of, well, not proud, uh, but I can accurately report my progress is at 0%. <laughs> there. Okay. So I got first yeah, pin in. First pin is in. Come on, second pin. Second pin is in. There, third pin's in. Okay, now let's get the components into the heat sinks. You don't want to go too tight initially. You can always tighten this up down a little bit, but just want because you want a little bit of flexibility when because uh, you're going to solder these in place. So you want that flexibility to make sure you're not forcing it onto the board. And take a look at one of them says 80243C. This one does. Or sorry, BD243C. And this one I can barely make out at all. But I can tell, definitely see it ends in a 70. And you'll see the 70 ends there. So that will slide right in, pull this up. This I will hold one finger. All you did to that guy was just screwed and you didn't add any, um, any- Oh, shoot. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I would have been very, very bad. I was like, huh, like I, I thought there was a, a part here. <laughs> yes, I, I, I was looking over my instructions and I went one step too far. Because, yes, it still would have worked for our purposes. Mm -hmm. But for the long-term health of this, would not have been very good. And so, dumb question. So I'm taking some of my grease here, and I'm putting it on the back and just lathering it on, right? 
Nice healthy yep. amount. So what I'm doing is just take it and then just smear it on the back of this. There we go. Mm -hmm. Then take it, smear it on the back of this. There. Okay. I probably it doesn't matter if it gets all goopy and out the side. I mean, so the point of thermal paste is to to do that. I remember a long time ago there was a uh, PC gamer did a article on the best thermal paste on the market. This was a uh, yeah, about 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. So they did all the ones, the big ones, the, all the big names, plus the, the generic ones that you can get. And they also added in, as a control, air, so nothing, mm -hmm. peanut butter, and Cheese Whiz. Oh my god, was Cheese Whiz the best? Cheese Whiz actually did second best. No way. But... It did not hold up to uh, long-term thermal. It, it, it broke down the fastest. So this one is my 3C. So this is my 70. Let's check to make sure I'm putting it in the right hole. Yep, it goes into this one. Okay, so we'll hold that with that. So what I like to do is, so take the uh, heat sink, make sure it is snug and use it to secure, get one pin on and secure. But because it's a heat sink, it's going to be fun to try to heat up its wire. Oh, yeah. I remember once I was trying to take, um, I don't know why. I'm, oh, I was trying to take off a, uh, someone put a heat shield around a TV or something to keep people from messing with electronics on like a TiVo. Uh-huh. I was trying to get in there to like take take some parts off or like try and figure out what's wrong with the thing. And I kept trying, trying, trying. And then someone explained to me, you, you you understand, someone had to tell me, you understand that a heat sink, you're not going to desolder that with your normal soldering iron. I, I didn't realize it until someone told me. Yeah, heat sinks absorb heat. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be tough. These three pins are so close together. Wow, that is super ugly. There, all three of them, excellent. There. Much better. And now I can tighten, now that I've got it, got that all secure, tighten it just a little bit more there. Thumb to hold that. 
solder will come here. Ooh, nice. That was actually a perfect. I get like what one of those, maybe two of those in, in an entire video. Wow, that one that got two in a row. Nice. Now time for the hard part, which is these guys. Okay. They really like that idea that it's uh, dinner time. Come on. It's the center post is the problem. Oh, yeah. That is a pain in the butt. What I may do is just clip, when I get them all clipped, come back and just redo that center one. Because it does not want to So at least now I can come in from the top. There. Came in from the top, and that allowed me to there. And that's three nice pegs. Let's see if the board came in contact with anything else. Nope, all the connections in there are good. Next piece. Pull the red stick. Oh. Here we go. Let me know when you're ready for this one. The, uh, mm -hmm. We're now touching the coil. Oh, boy. There we go. I just got to clip and then I'm ready. Whew. Oh, you do that? I'm going to see if I can find my wire strippers. Okay, had to, had to go with my backup of a backup pair. Couldn't find my good ones. Oh, no. So, you uh, caught up? I'm caught up and ready to rock and roll. Okay. Well, then I can strip this a little bit later. Okay. So wipe your hands off, which I have a towel for. There we go. It's nice and clean. There's a sticker. Come on. You know, the sticker looks really nice. Are you really sure we want to take that off? There we go. <laughs> what that does is it frees this, which goes up into the air. Then what you want to do is pull 
the little piece of the one that's not the sticker side, just barely coil it out a little bit. Because that is going to go through this hole down here. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your thumbnail and very gently pull the coating off of this down here very carefully. Then what you're going to do is apply a little bit of glue. One, two, three. There. Making sure that the big piece still sticks up. This little piece comes off to the side and then it will land right in that circle with that there. Are we putting anything through the hole before we start, like on the innermost hole? Nope. We don't have, because it's this hole is what you want. The outside one. Okay. Now I've noticed on this board that they reuse some things or some uh, holes that we are not using. Okay. Because we're, we're almost out of components. I mean, the only thing we have left is oh, this. Which, while you're doing that, I'm going to strip the wire. Wow. This, the, sh the cladding on this is really good. It did not want to come off. It's really good. There we go. Whew. Yeah, no, this is nice and thick. Did not want to come off. So now that this has had time to dry and I almost got it perfectly lined up. I mean, yes, technically you could have fed this wire through here before uh, or as you were guiding it down. but then you wouldn't have the fun of doing it this way. Come on. Wow, I cannot see it. Keep losing it. We have to be extremely careful because you will snap this off and then you've now lost all this labor. There we go. There, Maya is now fed through. Whew. That was not easy. Wonderful. As you saw there, I got the hot the, the solder on the iron itself and then raked it across the hole. And that now pinned the wire in place. There we 
And now the fun part. We need to get this wire from this side over here to this side over here. And now I can see my lighting situation has changed. So we have two wires right now. We have the one on the bottom that we just soldered in and we have a wire coming from the top. Yep. Are we soldering this top wire onto the board? No, that is your Tesla coil. Okay, leave it alone. That big one that's up honking off the top is your big wire. That's why I had to make sure that you put it nice and up because you're gonna be doing some interesting things with it later. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, what are you doing right now? I stripped the oh. wire. I oh, stripped it, jeez. Yep. And now next it. to this side right here, because so on the same side that you had the this wire that you soldered in place. Actually, I'm also gonna put some solder on this side. I don't like how that moved. Good. That's, I, now I made sure that there is solder on both sides for this. And there's this hole right here. So what we're going to do is the nice and stripped here. Actually, yeah, this goes in. Pull it off to the side. Come on. There. I'll put some tension on it and be careful not to Get the wire too hot or else it'll burn the plastic. Ooh, another perfect one right there. And this is your second coil. So it's going to just gently go around. Sorry. Gently go around. And go into this other hole. And actually, which way does this wrap? Yep, it wraps this way. So it goes under, then over. And this feed. I'm not afraid to tell you I'm nervous right now playing with that, like getting close to that one thin strand of wire. Which part are you on? Um, I'm coiling around the coil right now, my big wire that we just stripped. Yeah. Just in general, says I'm coiling around. I know like I'm, I'm not going to nick any of these, like these tiny wires. I'm just afraid of even touching them just in case I were to nick it. There we go. Well, there is a coating on all of that. It's just make sure you don't, you know, rake your nail across it. Come on. Wonderful. Uh, nope, I see daylight through that hole. Even though the wire was perfectly secured, I'd rather not see, dang, still see daylight through the hole. Excellent. 
So let's see. Yeah, the part it was saying here is the the coil connection is is extremely sensitive. So let's see if this does anything. Hey, we're ready to test something. The red light doesn't come on. Hey, there. I got a light. So I take it the red light is bad? No, you want the red light. If your red light does not come, check your coil water wire connection. I have a red light and it looks like the blue's coming on a little bit, but probably just my imagination. Mine, my red light is not coming on. So let's see, where's that? Where's this? Yeah, I'm not coiling. Okay, I don't need the fan anymore. Are you able to uh, get both lights on? I had a weak blue light, but a solid red light. Oh, good. So, can, do you get? Do you see a, a clip at the end? It might be we just don't have enough power. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I got lights. I didn't touch anything. I, I didn't touch anything or like oh, that's the coil. Oh. I'm just like looking at it. Is there anything else I'm supposed to be doing? Yes. Uh, let me show you something. Okay. Mine is working. I'm just not getting enough power to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell because we're not arcing. But take your little bulb that it came with the kit, move it up to the coil, and you'll see it, it is lighting it up. No. Turn off oh, the, that, the lights around you. I, I was doing the wrong thing. Can you see the uh, the very, very light light up? I got to hit lights. Does it show up on camera? No, I got, I got no light. Can you see it on mine? On yours? Um, I can see it. Yeah, I can see it clearly on yours. Mine's got nothing. So you must not have just even enough power. Because you got the two lights. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take a one-minute break and go see if I can get something that has more... Something, to, something a little higher. Be right back. Okay. But that looks like a good stop for the, the video. This is... We seem to, uh, at least we got this working to this point. Uh, we can continue to record if you want. Um, so we do have like this, this big bulb, right? Thing that, um, that came with the kit. The sensor oh, yes. Thing. I don't think we have enough power. Let me, let's see. Okay. Uh, it? I'll try. So let's take this bulb. Like I'm just curious, do you like just super glue it on top? <laughs> no, you just set it on top loosely. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Wireless power. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. And then a dumb question: the the so at the top we have that that um, cable coming off. Uh huh. Where do we want that cable? Just laying out somewhere? Do we want it angled up, down, up. anywhere? Angled up. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting enough power to turn this on. Same. Uh, but I think you mentioned next steps. We put the this this loosely on top. We could plug in an audio cable, and we we might be able to see something interesting. Yeah, you'll see sparks, and it'll actually 
the electricity will cause the um, will cause sound. Cool. Plug the audio cable into what? Right here. Oh. There's a little audio port here, and then I. Oops. I had a Zoom to plug this in. Watch, I'll show you. It won't do anything because I don't have enough power. Then I go to music. And there we go. And it's not doing anything because it should be coming off of this. But it's not. And this isn't doing anything right now. But at least I got the little bulb to light up. Not very well, but enough to show that this was a successful build. I'm excited. When uh, my power comes in, what I'll do is we can do a quick uh, recording of that mm -hmm. and then just do a follow up. I like it. I'm going to order that power supply you linked in the in the video. Yep. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, Digirain. See you all next time.